So let's look at the expansion vessels in our home. Now this is quite a common expansion vessel. This one's actually off a hot water cylinder. You'll see it has a little air valve on the bottom, so we'll go through that. That's probably the most common you'll see. You may think you haven't got an expansion vessel in your system. It could be tucked away like this one inside your boiler. Still the same principle, still got the inlet, and there is a little valve on this one as well. Here's our connection to the heating system within the boiler and there is that's the side of the air that takes the expansion. Right, I've cut this open and this shows you the side that the air would normally sit in. Right, here's our valve, and this is the same as what's in your car tyre or bike tyre, same thing. Right, now it's completely empty, so we'll start filling it full of pressure, and you'll notice the inner tube starting to expand inside the pressure vessel. Now this is a bit like what's happening when you're filling your boiler or your hot water cylinder up. Now, let's imagine this is on your heating system. We would stop about one bar. Now, you'll notice, even though we're full, there's still room for it to expand further into the air as we heat the system up. Unfortunately, sometimes these systems do fail. Now once both sides of the vessel are full, it's no longer an expansion vessel, it's just a big tub of water and there is no room to expand any further. Let's look on paper at a typical heating vessel. When the heating system is empty, the one bar of air will push the water away. Fill the heating system, the air will squash up and be under more pressure. As the heating system heats up, it will rise typically to about 1.5 bar. Now if that inner tube was to burst, cold, that whole thing would sit at one bar. In this situation, adding heat, it would easily go in excess of three bar, leaving only one place for it to go out the pressure relief valve for safety, losing your water. Right, little tip, combi boilers haven't always got big enough expansion vessels. You might be going up to 42 kilowatts. Now, that is mainly sized for the hot water, so the expansion vessel might be connected to a little system. If you're connected to a big system, get a big expansion vessel. Mm -hmm. 